Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to see how to create movie poster in Photoshop. Before getting started, you can download all the files used in this tutorial. Link in the description. Download it, use it. If you got any doubt, let me know in the comment section. I'll help you. Fine, let's get started. First go to the folder you downloaded. There you will see a PSD file called movie poster. Open the file inside Photoshop. This one is a design ready file. You can straight away start designing it. Okay, first we are going to create our background image. For that go to the folder you downloaded. Open image 1 inside Photoshop. Drag and drop the image inside our canvas. I am not going to resize the image. If you want you can resize the image. Next go to the folder. Open image 2 inside Photoshop. Drag and drop it inside our canvas. I am going to resize this image by using free transform tool Ctrl T keyboard shortcut. I will place the image on left side. Okay, fine, I will settle with this one. Next, we are going to add a layer mask. Go to the adjustment layer, create a layer mask. Now select brush tool. Select soft round brush, make sure the color is black. Now I'm going to erase those parts I don't want. Fine. You don't need to worry about the bottom part because we're going to add a model image and text so we can take care of that later. Next we're going to add a color lookup layer. I'll go with the late sunlight option. Next, I'm going to add another color lookup layer. This time, I'm going with the candlelight cube. I'll keep the blending mode as overlay and I'll reduce the opacity down to 75%. Okay, next, I'm going to create a layer. Go to color picker, select color 773300, select soft round brush. I'm going to give a single click. Sorry, before that, change the blending mode to linear dodge. Then I'm going to give a single click here so that we'll get a cool glow effect. Next, we're going to bring in our model image. Go to the folder you downloaded, open image 3 inside Photoshop. Drag and drop the image inside our canvas. I'll place it at the right side, somewhere here. If you want, you can resize the image. I'm not going to resize here. Fine. Next, we're going to add a gradient map layer. Now go to the adjustment layer, create gradient map layer. Right click and clip mask this layer so that the changes we're going to make here will be reflected only to the model image. In gradient map, I'm going to select Fifth option, violet and orange. I'll change the blending mode as soft light. I'll reduce the opacity down to 30%. Okay. Next, I'm going to add a brightness contrast ad adjustment layer. Again, I'm going to clip mask this one, right click, clip mask. I'll reduce the brightness down to minus 14% and contrast to minus 15%. Next, I'm going to create a layer, change the blending mode as screen, and again I'm going to clip match this one. Now go to color picker, select color F48 E1F. Now select soft round brush, reduce the opacity down to something around 50%. Now I'm going to add a little bit of glow effect to the model image only to the border like so I'll keep it minimal okay by doing so it blends with the background images fine next we're going to add smoke effect at the bottom part for that create a layer Go to the folder you downloaded, there you will see a smoke brush, double click and install the file inside Photoshop. Okay. 
now go to color picker and select black color now enable brush tool and select the newly installed brush which is smooth brush okay i'll increase the size i'll increase the opacity to 100 percent next i'm going to add few clicks okay fine next we're going to add fire sparkle effects for that go to the folder you downloaded open image for inside photoshop drag and drop the image inside of a canvas i'll place it at the bottom change the blending mode as screen so that those black parts will turn invisible next we're going to add our poster text for that create a layer go to color picker select color fbc 6 5c enable text tool the font i'm using is stencil font it's a free font i'll give the link in the description you can download it if you want now i'm going to create some mock-up text next i'm going to add minimal effect to our text for that right click blending option enable drop shadow i'll keep the blending mode as normal select color 7b4214 increase the opacity to 100 percent keep the angle as 90 distance 16 i'll keep the spread as 5 size as 0 so that we'll get a minimal 3d effect Next, I'm going to create a duplicate copy of this text layer by using keyboard shortcut Ctrl J. I'll edit this one as 9. Okay. I'll reduce the size down to 89 points. I'll place it here. Okay. Next, we're going to add a glow effect to our text for that. Create a layer. Change the blending mode as linear dodge. Go to color picker select color 553b06 now enable brush tool select soft round brush okay reduce the size and give a single click fine next we're going to add a glow effect to the lighthouse for that create a layer again change the blending mode to linear dodge go to color picker select color ff b239 again enable brush tool i'll go with the same soft round brush i'll reduce the size and i'll give a single click so that we will get a realistic glow effect fine we are almost done with our poster design next we're going to add a gradient map layer let's go to adjustment layer create a gradient map layer now select the red green option okay click ok now i'll change the blending mode as soft light reduce the opacity down to 26 percent okay next we're going to merge our, all of our layers for that go to layers select merge visible while clicking this one hold alt key in your keyboard now all of our layers are merged into a single layer as a final effect we're going to add oil paint effect to our poster for that go to filter stylish oil paint i'll keep the stylization as 1.8 cleanliness as 1.3 scale as 1.8 i'll keep the bristle detail as 0 0.7 angle 90 shine 0 click ok so our movie poster is ready So that's it guys, I hope this video is useful to you. If you like this video, hit the like button for more photoshop tutorials, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, take care.